The Rancor's Brothel presents... A Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Out of the abyss. All right, next day. Uh, roll me a survival to see if Shushar knows where the hell he's going. 17. Cool. Um, forage. 10. Are you foraging for food or alchemical supplies? Supplies. 10. Is it a saving? I mean, unless throw? nobody can find food, then I'll go for food. Survival. 17. Okay. No, 15. Sorry, man. 15, we'll get it. 10. Nope. Like, if if nobody else can find food, I would rather do food. Well, you're all doing it at the same time, so you won't know until the end. That's fair. That's fair. That's a 19 on the die plus stuff for supplies. Both of you roll me a d6 and add your wisdom. Six plus my wisdom is a two. Wisdom, so wisdom. Seven. You get eight pounds of food. Fifteen. Seven. Pounds. You get seven charges. No, oh. Lucas wasn't looking was for food. He was doing food. No, oh. I wasn't. Because oh, I wouldn't know. You're going to max out at 12 charges. Okay. Then I'm at 12. Could I, could I have scooped out the other old What do you mean? Well, the first time I rolled, I rolled badly. Oh, no. You think you've got three charges of good Okay. Uh, who wants to roll for encounters? Seven. Cool. Quiet day. My sign language with uh, Darren Dill is, is improving. I think so, anyway. Okay. Why don't you just teach him common? Elf should know common, right? No, he knows Elvin. He speaks oh. very, very... F***ing Nancy Pants bastards. Yes, he speaks very nice, perfect, flowing Elvin. <laughs> We're older than you as a race. <laughs> Next night, uh, roll me a survival to find someplace. 18. Cool. You find a nice, wide-open cavern with an, a rock inside that can be pushed up inside up against the door. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice, well-hidden place. Totally closed off. There's even kind of a chimney in the top. Inside this cavern, there are corpses on the ground. Very old corpses. Uh, It looks like a ring around a caved-in tunnel. Um, So leading deeper back in or leading down, relatively speaking? Leading into the back wall of this cavern. Okay. I will, since it doesn't use a slot, pop my detect magic. Okay. And walk the perimeter of the cavern. Specifically around the bodies and the cave-in area. You don't detect any magic. Okay. What type of bones? Are they humanoid bones? Yeah. Uh, They look to be about dwarf-sized. Okay. Uh, Dark metal armor. It's all... It's all... It's all really old. Not... It doesn't look like much of it's usable. Um... What's his name? Sereth. Yes. You recognize the armor by chance? That's Durgar armor. Wait, do we have any Durgars with us? We don't have Durgars with us, do we? No. We have a Darrow, though. We have, have a Darrow. Would he like it? No, it's not usable. It's not usable to him? Or it's not usable? No, it's old and rotten okay. and rusted. Is there anything you can make out of it? Yeah, could I could I use it to make something not old and rotted? Sure. A hundred gold piece worth of equipment. Okay. We'll just, I'll tuck it away in a bag just for lump. Um, you'll get one use of your ability out of it. You said we're pretty sealed in here, right? Yes, you can seal yourself in. This tunnel looks like it was collapsed. Uh, okay. ev- everybody can make a nature check. What does nature roll off of? Intelligence. Mm, well, I got one. Unnatural. <laughs> 18? 17. 21. It's zero. What'd you get? 17. <clears throat> Nexus hasn't spent much time in the Underdark. Understand. But you've probably read something about these about creatures that would make tunnels like this. Okay. You guys definitely, after spending time in the Underdark, would know what an Umber Hulk tunnel looks like. But this is old as hell. You notice several of the Underdark denizens who are traveling with you know what that is. And what were they called again? I'm sorry, Umber Hulks. Umber Hulks, like the Dune Worms, right? No, 
No. Uh, these worms. are these look uh, like giant cockroaches, like large size mechanically, like ten feet tall. We um, were game based on numbers. Yes. Uh, I kind of go back and sort of just with the butt end of my glaive, sort of poke the rocks to see if it's solid. It does feel solid. Solidly packed. Solidly collapsed. Um, how big is the chimney going up? Uh, there it's a fissure. Okay, so it's not. I mean, it's. I'm look kind of looking up there, like nothing's coming down through there. No, nothing no. of any m- large size. No, hmm. it's quite a bit old. This I mean, should be all right. Sort of look around the group. I, I mean, we didn't see anything else. Mm-hmm. That's what we got watches for. Would we know enough about Umberhulks to know if this is like a resting place, or if they would have just dug this tunnel, or we did roll an eighteen on that survival. I mean, it seems right? abandoned at this point, right? Hmm? It seems abandoned at this point. Absolutely. So watches. We'll just do. We'll just keep doing the same watches. Yep. Uh, somebody roll me a d four. Uno. Okay. Lucas, roll me a d twenty. <laughs> Sorry. D twenty. Yep. Am I adding anything or just rolling? No. Just roll. He's really it's twelve. Really What's that? Twelve. Okay. Quiet night. Nice and sealed in here. Matt. On your watch. It's always you. <laughs> Rolled it. Two. Sure. Second watch. Make a perception check. <clears throat> Twelve. Jim Jar and Shushar, right? Mm-hmm. Shushar looks up, looks around and says, did you hear that? Hear what? Well, there's no one else moving around in here, but I swear I heard somebody kick a pebble. Um, do we all have those little fire beetle things? Yeah, you guys divvied them out. Um, no, no I, I gave mine to him, okay, we, and you I have what you picked. picked. Um, what, dire- what direction did you hear it in? He'll point back towards the uh, towards the collapsed tunnel. I'm trying to, I toss mine that way. Okay, you definitely see more rocks move than there were before. Okay, yeah. he uh, was it Shushar. You said yes. He uh, Shushar. He don't want to. Uh, Let's not alarm anybody, but I think we need to wake our uh, wake our friends here. Yeah? Yeah. The rocks back there, they've moved. Okay. Let's do it quietly. Let's not freak them out, but let's get them all up. Okay. Um, you Roll know what? a wake-up check. Give me the markers. Oh, boy. There's your collapsed rocks. Here's your entrance that you've blocked. You have a mass of people in here. Um... I'm okay with you really just rolling the dice in that area and shuffleboard style. That's where they fell asleep at. I mean, I'm assuming everybody would be within reach of each other. Right. I think it's fair. Three, six, ten, eleven. There's twelve of them? Mm-hmm. There's thir- well, thirteen altogether. There's nine of them and four of us. Is that after you lost Turvy? Yes. Yeah, total of thirteen. Okay. Is that good for everybody? Sure. Works for me. Okay. So, I'm doing pizza checks. Rolling pizza checks. I'm rolling pizza checks. <laughs> you would have been further than 10 feet away, or else you wouldn't have thrown that thing over there. Plus, you can see in the dark. I can see in grayscale. Yes. I was looking for differentiation. Okay. I mean, I do have stone cutting. Would that help me? And there's your glowing thing. So you've got light. For 20 feet around that. Okay. Go ahead and roll me initiatives. Ooh. I got a good one, Jeff. Lucas. Seven. Matt. Paul. Troy. Sixteen. Eighteen. Matt, you're up. Matt's up. You're asleep. Okay. We, were, we were in the process of waking them up. Huh? Wow. You can sp- you can spend your turn waking people up. I snore loudest. You can holler and wake people up. Which would alarm people, which is what you didn't want to know. That's a free action, right? Hollering yes, it is. While readying an attack with my hammer, and anything that's not my friends, I will holler. Okay. I will say, drop your cocks and grab your socks, guys and gals. Okay, you guys, uh, you three can make constitution saves. Awake. I rolled a seven. Awake. Twelve. And awake. Did you like card for that, Jeff? No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Because I'm assuming you want to be awake. 
I yes, but I didn't know if you you know. I did roll a one. No, I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to do that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the Umber. I'm, I'm not going. Enough. I'm not going to give you a a, tw- a good luck card. But okay. are you doing uh, are you doing anything else? You still have a move. I ready in action. You still have a move. No. Okay. Wait. <laughs> nope. You said no. Took your hand off the pot. Moving on. No, I did. You took a hand off the piece. No, wait is one word. Um, I have to look at my character thing. I'm sorry. One second here. <laughs> um, and it is also taking two and a half sessions for Matt to no longer trust Jeff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and worry about whether or not he should be worried and or move. <clears throat> You've been watching way too much about Graboids. I feel like Matt is paranoid that he's going to get sucked through the f***ing floor or something. Uh, I tap my chest, empowering my armor with a plus one. Oh, okay. Is that a bonus action, or...? It doesn't say. It doesn't say it's an action. Bonus action just says I gain the ability. Is that your enchanting armor? Yeah. I think that's a part of a rest. No, it's not. At first level, you gain the ability to imbue magic into a weapon or armor at the end of a long rest. Mm. So I gotta pick that every day at the beginning. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I'll use it situationally. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then can you hire low? Can I I will say that you could have done it at the at. Well, you, you would have known. Really, to, in really, fairness, if he really wanted to f- you, you've been saying that you're gonna put a plus one on my weapon every day since we started this game. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Every day. Yes, you did. I'm not. Um, I'm just saying. Because I even told you to make a little plus one thing because you're going to move it around. You should put it in front of whoever has it. At the end of your last long rest, you would have known to assign it to something. Right. Whether it was your armor, her weapon, whatever. So tell me right now where it so is. evens or odds? I don't give a shit. You can have the plus one to armor. No, I, I'm just, it was my mistake. I'm being fair and giving it the chance. I don't give a shit. Odds or evens? Uh, Even odd. It's his glaive. Okay. Cool. So no, I'm just ready to hit things. Really hoping my buddy grabs his glaive real quick. <laughs> I I just want to be clear, not moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunate, Matt was right okay. on the spot where the thing was pulling him down. <laughs> you all three are awake, right? Yes. yes. I did say that, right? You did. Yes. Cool. Okay. Uh, I'm next in the initiative. You all hear a horrible rumble. Something that wakes everybody else up. Either way, as three giant co- cockroach-looking things come tearing through the stone walls. Where at? Oh. Yeah, right there on the, the map. Are. Yep. Right I will say breaking out of the walls is the end of their movement. Well, that's nice of you. Yep. And? Who's next? Oh, wait. Could you have used your little bonus action if he no, walked into your space? No, they have five feet reach. He's asleep. No, no. We, we woke up with she's, what that happened. She's laying on the ground. I would say you if you... Get your attack, mm-hmm. you could take it. Okay. You will take it at disadvantage because you're on the ground, though. Oh, I see what you're doing. Um, hey, a poke's a poke. Yeah. As three Umber Hulks come charging out of the walls. I mean, I can barely see in that direction anyway, but I can give it a shot. Uh, disadvantage, you said, right? Nine. That is a miss. I just roll over on my belly and kind of swing it in the general direction of the thing that's moving out of the wall. Mm-hmm. Yay! Jeff rolled a one. I get a good luck card. Yep. Both of them miss. Actually, that would be... You're at disadvantage because you're on the ground. <clears throat> aren't you? If you're prone. Mm-hmm. Yes. For melee uh, attack, yeah. Unless they're standing... Unless they're standing I, it depends on how you're playing that because I'm not sure where that piece is. In the middle of this 10-foot section. Okay. Then I think they get advantage. Yeah. Well, either way, both of those would have missed you. Yeah. That looks a lot better. Those don't. Do the Umber Hulks get multi-attack? Oh, yeah. Okay. And I don't know if I would sleep in my armor or not, so I'm sure that even the low number there hits. That's seven points of damage. Ooh, that hurts a little. Just a wee bit. Oh, yeah. To hit, that would be 24. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. no. You hit me. 24 again. What exactly are they hitting me with, Jeff? The the first one was a claw. Uh, this one is a bite with the mandibles. That doesn't sound pleasant. Do these look like the bugs from the Paul Verhoeven classic Starship Troopers? No. None of those were really cockroachy. No, the, these literally look like big bipedal uh, cockroaches. 
So like Scumbug from Ninja Turtles. Yes. So you're talking about a bug like the size of this room. Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> it occupies a 10 by 10 space, and that's about how big this room is. That's fair. So It's a little bit longer than Wearing that. an Edgar 16 suit. points of damage. That does it. You're down? Oh, God, yes. Absolutely. It just dealt me almost 30 damage. Awesome. I'm at negatives. Okay. Lucas. Mm-hmm. Go. I got a bonus action thing. You need to make a wisdom saving throw. No, charisma saving throw. I'm sorry. I do? Yes, you do. Okay. Uh, you actually have the... You have two options. You can keep looking at it, or you can look away. You can avert your eyes. <laughs> I'm probably looking at the person who just got attacked, because that's what I'm about to do. Which is looking right at them. Okay, define looking at, because if I'm looking down at her, you're I'm either looking, looking at the or thing. you're not. I have to know where I'm pointing. Yep. To heal him. So again, define looking at, because I'm not looking directly at it. It just happens to be standing there. You can see, if you're averting your eyes from the Umber Hulk, you're aver- averting your eyes from the Umber Hulk. You can't see the Umber Hulk. If you you can still see other things around you. So then I need to roll a save because I'm looking at him or Kara, her, her Hulk is Yeah, but her. I can block my eyes and not see the pictures behind Cody and see Cody. So okay, I will give you that. Okay, then I will point as you as you glance at the Umber Hulk, you feel some kind of power starting to overtake you, and you cover your eyes so sure. that you're not looking at it. So I think it's just a straight die. I don't have a thing written, printed out. Uh, you should have two hit points. Yay! I don't think I add anything to that. I think I just roll a straight d6. Is that an action? Oh, that's it's a bonus your, action. Your, your healing dice? Yeah, it's a bonus yeah, action. It's... I have a pool of dice. Yep. So it's... I just point at you, and you instantly, that way you're not making death saving throws. If it's a bonus action, I can still attack. So now I will have to look at the thing to attack it. No. You either avert your eyes or you look. I have to look at it. To attack it. Yep, you've already averted your eyes this round. It's either that or you make the saving throw. I want to attack it. Okay, make your saving throw. Okay. Charisma save. Don't you do charisma? Yeah, it's an 8, technically. But I rolled a 1. Please stop. So can I not attack? Is that what you're telling me? Uh, you're gonna... You're gonna have to see here in just a second. Please stop doing things, Lucas. Wait. Those things, anyway. He rolled uh, another one. You oh. can't. Wait, you can't does, this mat- does this matter? What? Whether or not I rolled that one, if I use this card that adds a different die to it. No, that Still doesn't. Roll. That doesn't, doesn't change the base roll. Okay. It just adds to the total. Okay. You need you for the rest of this round. You cannot take reactions. That's fine. I don't have any. Okay. Uh, <laughs> roll a d8. A d8. Yep. Four. Four. You do nothing. Cool. I just look at it. Bugs. I just heal you and go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, uh, you are confused. Uh, for just for the one round. For the one round, you you're gonna make the save again next round. But what okay. did the bug do to his character? Huh? You said you are confused. And I said yes. But what did the bug do to his character? <laughs> Slow burn. Gotcha. Yeah, when you gotta say it twice, though, doesn't count. I, I I can't help it. Nobody I, got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't. Yeah. Cody, go. Uh, oh, I get to do a thing? You do. Um, uh, sure. Um, I probably don't sleep in my armor either, do I? You said that already. You do not. But I'm just saying, I, it doesn't matter. Jeff was rolling like a 10. Uh, I'll stand up. Okay. Uh, and I guess I'll try and give it a couple of pokes before I go to the great beyond. Okay. Um, that is not a very good roll. That is an 11. That'll miss. It's really big, too. That's unfortunate. Okay. I'll stand right there and be but in its ha- way, because that's what I do. But it has a very thick hide. That's fair. I'll give you that. Did it not hit? No. With the plus one? I assume a 12 doesn't hit. No, it does not. Troy. It's a good call, though, Matt. You gotta make that 10. Um, as an action, I will reach out and touch Cody. All the people touching me. And he will get nine points of health. Yeah! Nice. Yeah, as a bonus action... I am going to uh, add a plus two to my AC. Okay. And stand up. Okay. I think you still have a move if you want it. You have half of a move. Uh, half move. <clears throat> you may not want to be in range. Yeah. Well, of any of them. <laughs> well, those are people. Those are occupied spaces. 
<clears throat> they're they're not. Ways, so. Yeah. Yeah, he can move through them. Can they occupy the same space? No. No, not okay. on the end. You'll be pushed so, out. Yep. Well, in that case, can I push out this way? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> oh, hey. You know what? Make your charisma saving throw. Why? Because you're getting looked at. I'm getting looked at? Yep. Uh, an eight. That okay. doesn't sound very good. No, it doesn't. Uh, I will... I forgot it. That's my fault. We'll say it's next next turn. You're affected. Okay. Uh, Matt. Do I need to do a saving? Yes, you do. Okay. Ten? Uh, fail. Roll me a D8. Advantage on a saving throw. Cool. That's Thank you, Nord Games. Fifteen. That will hit. Okay. Or that, that will make. <laughs> okay, great. Then, uh... You can uh, act normally. The one right in front of me here. Captain Caveman looking guy. Yes. Gonna, um... <laughs> Cast Guiding Bolt. Okay. For 15. 15 to hit? Yeah. That's a miss. F*** beans, really? Yes. 15 to hit? Add a d4 to it. Oh. Okay, does 18 hit? It does. Then let's max damage. Oh, nice. So that'll be 24. <laughs> so we've used two of our cards now. I've used three. We've used, used three. Yeah. Oh, did you? What was I, I had used the other one, too? Yeah. Nice. Very nice. But it resulted in 24 damage to that one. So That's fine. I'm hoping that that was... Nope, it's not enough. It's right not nearly going to be enough. Oh, God, no. That's Large creature. Enough. Okay, well, there's... Uh, just so everybody remembers with Guiding Bolt, there is... Uh, Ad- advantage, have advantage on the next on attack, I believe, right? Till my next turn is over. Yes. So which one did you hit? The This one. Move or a bonus? Um... How many hit points? Are you back up at hit points? What are you at? I'm at 11 out of 20. That's their one hit kill anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> Give or take. Depends on how he rolls. Okay. Well, then, uh, no, I will not do a bonus. It's all move here. I, <laughs> I don't know. Speech is a free action, right, J- Jeff? Yes, it is. There, I'm there. Ice cream. Unblock the fucking door! Okay. I'm not near the door, so... But you just had a move action. <laughs> mm-hmm. A move action that would have put me in range. So, no. It's cool. Jeff? All good? No, you're right. F- I couldn't go through them, right? Because they're friends. There. Okay. The hole opens up underneath four of your companions. Absolutely it does. Yep. <laughs> Another Umber Hulk burrows up from underneath and four of your companions fall in. Which four? You hear screams. That's- did it pop up within your range? Did you take... No, that that is another round. Go I ahead. Would, I would be able to uh, take a Absolutely, you could. That's a 23 there, Jeff. That'll hit. Sweet. Let me do a whole lot of not damage on it. Um, <laughs> 11 damage. That's damage. That's what I'm here to do. Okay. As that happens, Kira whips around and stabs that thing as they all shriek to their death. Open the god's damn door! No, I take it back. He couldn't move into that square because there's somebody laying there. Truth. And I'm going to say that all the NPCs failed their saves because they're not going to act in. They're not going to act in this. Somebody roll me a d8 if I can't get this open quickly enough. Two. I'm wondering if I should use okay, this Okay, yeah, or not. they all do nothing. That Umber Hulk probably doesn't hit. You rolling with advantage on me, Jeff? No, I'm rolling a, uh, oh, okay. with advantage against that guy. At least two hits. One of those is down. Da-da, 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 da-da. Cody? Yup. Yep, that's probably 18. good. Okay. Eight damage. Whew. How many more tags you got? Two more? Two more. Sweet. Sixteen? Yes. Seven damage. Pew! And he'll smack that one that's on the ground. Now the ass hat from the back of the cave moves forward. Two, three. He I wants can't. to play with Lucas. Yeah. What about this guy? The one from the... Standing on him. <laughs> I can't see what's what. All right, he will spend one of his attacks. He'll crit that one. <laughs> He's pretty dead. Does Lucas He'll attack to that one? Do anything affect this at all? 
No. What do you mean? I didn't know. If- oh, he can't act. Uh, no, he can still defend. He's okay. not. He is not incapacitated. I. That's that was what I was wondering because if he was paralyzed or something, then that's real bad. Although he used all three attacks to get up to you. Dun, dun, dun. So wait, was my confusion away? for this current round or the the rest of the last round? The last round. So I should be able to attack this round. You will get a save. Oh, right. And it's your turn. So go ahead and make your charisma save. Yeah, if I can. I got a plus. Yep. I got a plus seven. You would think that would be easy. One would assume. Eleven. <laughs> I like how Jeff looks at his the card you've been giving him is like ah. F- it. Roll me a d8. Which one were you hitting? Another four. I do nothing apparently. Which one were you hitting? You do I'm not nothing. hitting anything. Apparently, I can't do. Oh. Yeah, he is confused. Uh, Cody. This is where we TPK and just end save, the game. Or death saving. Every for time you say, punch you. Ten. Okay. Pass. I can't do anything. One pretty Troy. The ground. You have advantage on that guy, right? The one that's painted. Yes. We'll try that's why I used the painted one on him. Yeah. Sure. Try to attack him. Mm. Good job. Well, there's a one. And it's ten probably will hit. Mm, no. Ten will not hit. As a bonus action, I am going to... Open the door. Add another plus two to my AC. How are you doing that? I have side points. Okay. For what? To add plus two to my AC. Well, I don't know how the how the thing works. Is Does it stack? Please enlighten yes. both Jeff and our audience. As a bonus action, you alter your physical form to gain a different characteristic. When you use this ability, you may choose one or more of the following effects. Each effect has its own side point cost. Add them together to determine the total cost. This transformation lasts for an hour until you die or until the end of your bonus action. Or, or or until you end it as a bonus action. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> <laughs> for a split second, I have a plus four. Attack me now. Oh, you didn't? Shit. Okay, so you're adding... Plus two to his AC. Right. What kind of physical transformation is it? It's called Tough Hide. Oh, okay. So you're growing dragon scales and... Your skin becomes as t- tough as leather. You gain plus two bonus to AC. Okay, so that's not something that'll stack. You've already taken it once. You sure? Yes. Okay. Well then, um, you're not going from from leathery skin to rock hard hide. It's and then as a bonus action, I will do my psychic focus uh, and uh, I get and yeah and so yeah so I get, I'm focusing on my psionic restoration as a bonus action. I can touch a creature that has zero hit points and stabilize it. Okay, Matt. <coughs> I'm gonna move the boulder out of the way of the door. Okay. <laughs> Do I need to roll anything? That would be a strength The boulder. Check. I'll take one of those bad luck cards. <laughs> Jesus. Word. As a bonus action, I will cast Healing Word on Cody, Kira, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So, 1d4 plus 4. You get 5 hit points. Yeah! Oh, hey! You didn't make your charisma save. What is it? Is that another f***ing one? He fist me. Take those hit points off. It's a seven. And I will put back that card. Because you shouldn't have gotten to do anything. And I'm <clears throat> skipping this completely. I skipped yours too. I wasn't going to say anything. I was wondering why I was the only one rolling. Nope. It's my fault. He likes I'm boost. not keeping track so I looked of it. at you. And I was the I only get, one that failed the first time. I get so. to be the only per. I get to be conscious on my turn. No, that that I understand. <laughs> that I understand. Mm-hmm. You attack. No, you did time. attack. You bonus I action. Keep, I keep no, he made he made an opportunity attack. <laughs> no, the last time you attacked. Roll a D eight, Matt. No. Yeah. I reject your truth. Okay, then you die. Eight. It says you die. <laughs> I swear to God, this says I die. To learn a new accent. You have eight. no creatures within reach of you, so you don't make an attack against a random c- creature. Oh God. Okay, um, Lucas. What? You get a one on a strength check. Do you get a hernia? <laughs> is that what it is? Fifteen to hit. Hit my leg, my back, my legs. Eight damage. Cool. Sixteen to hit. Hits. Eleven damage. Still up. <laughs> I like how he's rolling the damage on his app before he even <laughs> rolled the d twenty. Uh, twenty four. For 12 damage. Zero. Okay. 
these two will spend the next round swatting the guys around them that are still laying on the ground, writhing around, not knowing what's going on. So after three rounds, none of them are standing up to do a They're all automatically failing their saves because they're NPCs, and this is your fight. All right. You can go ahead and lay my guy down. It's a shame that just came in the mail. Yep. <laughs> It's a shame I didn't. Are you up? Are you moving? No, no, I'm at zero hit points. I'm. I. Oh yeah, you didn't get healed. No, I'm on one success. This one will take a swat at that one for this turn. Take a swat at that one for the next turn, and get up here for the third turn. And he'll get one attack at Troy. Are they going claw claw bite. Hmm. Are they going claw claw claw, claw bite. bite? Does a fifteen hit? No. Okay. Sharp cockroachy teeth bounce off your. Special hides. And I'm good. Uh, Lucas, death saving throw. Oh, right. I wrote a lot of ones today. I'm kind of afraid to do this. I'm excited. It's a 19. Nice. Pass. Cody, death saving throw. That's a four. That's a fail. Troy. Um, what's the what's the rules on jumping? It's a... Like a long jump? You got like a standing long jump or a running... Uh, running long jump, you have to get 10 feet of run. You're going to provoke a shit ton of attacks of opportunity, too. Yes, you are. You give me a really good athletics roll, I'll let you get through. How about an acrobatics roll? That's not a... It's not a jumpy thing. That's not a jump. a twirly thing. Um, well, never mind then. (laughs) Well, me then. I'm going to hit that guy. Try to hit that guy. With what? With uh, mind bullets. Yes. Okay. Chill touch. Well, tell them, not me. <laughs> I'm going to try to hit them with chill touch. Thank you. Is you this... still have advantage. That's a twenty. So that's a that's a nat twenty. A nat twenty. Yeah. That's a nat twenty. And which one are you hitting? This guy. The one, one that's that... taking twenty four damage. Okay. Magic bottom one target as well. Maximum damage. So that's rolling twice. So that's two d eights. So it's 16 plus... No, max damage for the spell. Right. Yeah. So it's 2d8 is what the spell is? Well, I, I don't get it advantage. I don't No, get no. no. Uh, we're, doing the we're doing the cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll say max damage, double damage, whatever. Okay. So it's a d8, so it's an 8. 8 damage. 8 plus... Not plus anything? No. Spell casting it's a cantrip, isn't it? Chill touch? Yes. Do 16. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. <laughs> because we're all dying. It's on that one. Yeah. He doesn't want to kill us all. Matt, go. <laughs> Charisma saving throw. He's oh, yeah. Ch- Charisma saving throw. His homework. I keep forgetting yours. <laughs> She's going to kill us all. Oh, we'll do it fairly. 20. Okay, uh, you're good. I am pushing like f- on that goddamn <laughs> door. <laughs> Make me a strength check. <laughs> it's a pull. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one, isn't it? It's a four. It was a four. Oh, it, it was a four. Okay. <laughs> I just keep seeing that far side comic with the fat kid who's leaning against the sword. <laughs> Bonus action, healing word, f***ing Cody, who gets five hit points back. Yeah! <laughs> Kira keeps waking up in a pool of her own butt. <gasps> didn't you, what the did, f*** is going on? Did you do a pool thing for healing or something earlier? Huh? Didn't you do something earlier for healing to somebody? Yes, I did. Move action, anything like that? No, I'm just trying to like, f*** on the door. I, I don't okay. know why I would move from the door. Matt! Is that by the same space? Huh? Yeah, you do kind of have them stacked on top of each other. Yeah. Who? Those two. Oh! No, that's not right. <laughs> that guy moved. He was already there. <laughs> yeah. No. Yes. This guy moved down. No, this guy no. was right there, and you moved this guy here, which is illegal. <laughs> right. I'm saying this guy, these guys both moved down at the same time. Yes, I can get them both in there one way or another. Hey, I'm just being as much of a rules dick as you're going to be, so. It's all you're good. on top of a bunch of dots. Matt. Oh, you nice. don't have to worry about stepping on dead things. That's fair. One of the Umber Hulks lumbers up to you and swings its claw oh. for a 23. I'm sorry, does that hit? can't hear you. You. It's an audio show. You savage <laughs> smoking piece of <laughs> You know that that is. You get you upset. You fucking people made a cheat assume. sheet. <laughs> made a fucking cheat sheet with her armor classes on it. You know what fucking hit. 
fucking prick, motherfucker. <laughs> it was a very <laughs> thing to do, but I do like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a, that's eight damage. You look like Eddie Munster had a resorbed twin. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> the other claw comes around because you're a bitch. <laughs> For 24. F*** you! How, how many hit points is the first one? Eight. Okay. Oh, for 11. Dead. Awesome. Oh, you're down. Probably still won't hit. 14? Coop degrace me? <laughs> Does 14 hit? I no. can't. I don't have my sheet in front of me. No. Okay. Uh, The other one's going to attack Troy. That's not going to hit. That's a, a an eight. The second claw is going to do a thirteen. No, sir. Mandible. Oh, crit fail. He bit his own dick off. Slashing. It's not really piercing when the tooth is the size of this table. No, I suppose that's fair. <laughs> it's more of a squashing. Be, yeah, be bludgeoning even. They're sharp, so they just shear people in half. All enemies that attack you before your next turn. Add 1d6 to their attack roll. So, when yeah. you attack him, when you attack him, you add 1d6 to your roll. His I don't understand how these things haven't hit you yet. It well, you rolled a 13 <laughs> and an 8. Those are low. <laughs> hey, yeah, can I you know. move out of my threatened range? Are you up? Yeah, I have 5 hit points. Which square are you in? I have no idea. You set me down. I, oh, I, I, set I have down. a 10-foot reach. He would have been here because there oh, was yes. there. Uh, then no, he's still in your reach. Tunnel fighter. As long as he's moving within my range. Oh, okay. Then yes, you would get your attack. I have to be in a defensive stance for tunnel fighter. Okay. Then no, so you don't. no, I don't get it. He would have had to move out, which it doesn't look like he did. Troy, a 10 is not going to hit you. I would still be down on that. I'm laying on the Another ground. 10 is not going to hit you. What is your AC? 18. 18. The other one's on push. <laughs> For 13 damage. Awesome. Lucas, death saving throw. Oh, right. That is one fail. That goes to Cody. Um, You're within range if you want to hit it. You can stand up for half your movement. Yeah. I'm curious, what is in the hole that is now beside me? Are you looking down there? Can I hear it? Can I just generally perceive anything as I'm laying on the ground? Uh, there's a bunch of combat going on. Make a perception check. That's not a very good one. Maybe 10 or 11. 10. No, you can't pick out the sounds over the sounds of combat. But I do hear Troy fighting with it. Yes. That means I'll stand You can up. see Troy fighting with it. Yeah, that means I'll stand up and try and hit it. Um, make your charisma saving throw, because I'm really bad at that. Sweet. Where's my charisma? Oh, that probably won't go well. I succeed on it. Okay. I used the card to succeed on it. Thank you, Nord Games. Yeah, I really was trying to save that for people who might be making death saving throws, but I feel like I need to distract this from Troy a little bit. Um, Not going to matter. There's two other ones. I, you, you never know, man. We could poke it a couple times and jump in the hole. Might survive. Uh, well, does a 16 hit it? I don't think it does. does it, it does not. Oh, no, because he did say there was one down there. So. Uh... Action search. Okay. That won't hit it either. Uh. I only really started balding when we started playing D. <laughs> <laughs> There's a definitive correlation. Action search is a bonus action. Because right? you go like this all the time. Yeah, it's because I'm like. I don't know if it's a bonus action or not. I have to look because otherwise, I otherwise I would take my defensive tunnel fighter stance. I don't think it is. No, it's not. So I will take my Tunnel Fighter okay. ability. And what does that give you? Um, I make opportunity attacks without using my reaction, and I can use my reaction to make a melee attack against anything that moves more than five feet while within my reach. Okay. So if anything approaches me or leaves my threatened area. If it moves more than five feet. Yes. Okay. Which really means I should take a five-foot step back. You have movement left. Yeah, I'll take a five-foot step back. This way, this way, or this way? Uh, let's go diagonally against the wall. Diagonally against the wall. Yep. <clears throat> Troy. So that thing is still has not been hit, right? Uh, I thought I hit this it. This one got hit for 11. The one directly in front of you, you have an extra D6 on to hit. 
If I directly in front of you means adjacent. This one. I do? Yeah. Yes. That For was the, the one that had fumble. the crit fumble earlier. Oh. The one that tripped over his own Two teeth hit. or something? Yeah, but if I keep spreading the damage. I don't disagree, but I think the only other option is to go in the hole. Is Matt within reach of me? Yes. Yes. Okay. I will... Uh, let's see. Mm-mm-mm. Nope, I would do that for sure. Yep, I'm going to spend my last two side points to... Talk into the mic. I'm going to spend my last two side points to grow some claws and try to hit that guy. So 19 plus 6 plus other stuff will probably hit. That will hit. So you just like f***ing leap across the gap and like all... No, he's right there. Yeah. He's right there. He's a 10 foot space. I need to get some bigger figurines. I'm going to cut acrylic blocks now that I have lasers again. For 11. Nice. For 11 damage. Yeah, and then as a bonus action, Matt is stabilized. Okay. Uh, Matt, you're not making death saving throws anymore. So it's going to go over to me. The one that you just attacked is going to make three swings at you. 16. No, sir. 14. Also no. A nine's not going to hit either. The one on the other side he is going to try them. 21 will hit. Yes. I'm surprised you dodged that many, to be honest. So am I. <coughs> For 13 damage. I'm down. You're down. F*** you, bug! Six. And both of these. The one that hasn't attacked will make its way around the room towards Cody. The other two will turn around and move up. I get stabbed that one. It only moved five feet within your range. When wielding a glaive, halberd, pike, or quarterstaff, other creatures provoke an opportunity to attack from you when they enter your reach. Very good. That's Polar Master. That is. I got both ends. That's a 23. That'll 24. hit. Um, 8 damage. That's the end of their turn. Uh, it's your turn. Make charisma saving throw. I succeeded at the last one. Do I have to keep making them? Yes. What? Matt, 20. Give me a card. I'm giving you a card. Thank you, Nord Games. <laughs> Now can I attack it? You can act normally. Sweet. I'm going to attack that one that's in my face. Okay. Nat 20. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Give me another goddamn card. Oh, no, this is this one. Uh, Top. Uh, slashing. Slashing. Quadruple damage, and the target is blinded for 3d4 plus two rounds. Nice. <laughs> Jesus. Why couldn't you do that earlier? So quadruple damage <laughs> is... What was the label at the top of that card? Life threatening. Nice. So third level. So six. Third of four. Modifier once, right? Or modifier all four times. Modifier once. Okay, so six. Eleven. Nineteen. Twenty-four. Twenty-eight damage. Still up? Oh yeah. It is blind for twelve rounds, which I believe gives me advantage on future attacks. It does. <clears throat> so if you want that. Uh what do I want to do now? Um, uh, I'll make another attack roll against it. Polearm Master. Oh, yeah. This is the butt end? Yeah. So after slashing the f*** out of its face, I whip it around and hit it with the pole. Advantage. Yep. 15's not gonna hit, is it? No. I'd like to re-roll that. Do I re-roll both ends of it, or just the... Just the one. That'll hit 23. It will. And that's a D4. I don't remember if I get my strength modifier on that. You do. Another five damage as I bludgeon it in the face. Uh, how much have I got, I guess? So I move away, it's going to get... Does it get an opportunity to attack if it's blinded? Ooh. Can't see you. Thank you for defining I don't know, does it? I don't know. I mean, I would house rule that it doesn't. I don't know if it technically does, but at disadvantage, I, d- I would assume blinded it can't see sh- so how does it make an opportunity attack to know I moved out of its threatened range? That's a good question. Um, a blinded creature can't see. It automatically fails any ability check that requires sight. Attack rolls, advantage, a creature's attack rolls are disadvantage. Right. So if I move, it can't see me. I'm trying to decide if I want to move it. I can't move through it. It's occupying that entire space. At this point, two of them can attack me. If I get in the corner, that one would stand there and that one would stand there. If I get in the corner, only one of them can attack me at a time. So I'm going to go back up into the corner. 
you realize these are creatures that travel through the earth and would have tremor sense. Fair enough. Be a dick. It's fine. I don't think a 13 is going to hit, though. It kind of depends on whether or not I'm wearing armor, I guess. I haven't penalized anybody else's AC, so yeah. Fair enough. Okay. I don't wear armor, so I wouldn't need to. <laughs> All right. Matt does. I was on a wash during the... Uh, Very true. During the attack. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah, go, go ahead. Uh, I just ba- I'm just backing into the corner and... Okay. Huh? Two successes, one fail. Two successes, one fail for Lucas. Troy should probably be making him at this point, I imagine. Oh, yeah, it is oh, Troy's yeah. turn. Go ahead and roll your save. Pass. Okay. I mean, they're all going to surround you. I get an opportunity yes. to attack on that Yes, one. you do. Uh, No, that's an 11. Or no, sorry, it's a 13, mm-hmm. but I still don't hit. Okay. That's so, a miss. Yeah. Okay. Um, The one that came up is going to take a swing at you. Take three swings at you. Ten. <laughs> um, 23. Bye, guys. Good times, huh? 12 damage. Oh, yeah. That... <laughs> far from killing me out, right? <laughs> okay. We're all down. You're all down. You win. Game over. Matt, you're stable. Yeah. So, they so don't you eat are. Me in an hour, I can <laughs> <laughs> 1d4 hours. Um, <laughs> you are in and out of consciousness, but you are able to watch as your friends are eating. And you wake up enough to know when they start eating you. Oh, you bastard. And then Nexus comes and shakes you awake to say it's your watch. Cockstain. Roll a wisdom saving throw. 21. You pass. But this introduces the next mechanic that you all need to know about. I need you to add a spot to your character sheet to tick off a mag- a madness score. So at the top, so write madness. S- sand checks? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. Uh, I mean, they're not... No, they are totally sand checks. I'm just going to put it in my personality traits box. I thought the, sh- the shadow... Um, it was mad- madness check, is that what we're putting? Madness Just score. madness score. Madness. So everybody, do we all start out with the same score? You all start at zero. And once somebody starts getting... <laughs> I think I killed Matt for real. Well, I had a ton of damage to those uh, invisible things, though. Yeah, none of them died, huh? Well, yeah, they're f***ing Umber Hulks. <laughs> they're f***ing Dream Umber Hulks. They're even worse, because... No, I. They're in his fucking head. It's also. Oh no, I played Umber Hulks straight out of the book. I'm reading Umber Hulks. <laughs> I can't reach it. No, okay. How many hit points they got? 93. Yep. I think we did. 11 D10 tops plus was like 50 something on one of them. Huh? I think we did oh. maybe 50 something on one of them. 52. Yeah. Not bad. Challenge 5, 1800 experience points. Mm-hmm. Going one. Man. Yep. Matt must think highly of Kira, though, because she did the best in his uh, uh, creepy madness fever dream. Yeah, girl. Sorry. <laughs> so, Matt, you are having horrible dreams. <laughs> yeah. For the second time. I'm not sure why it keeps falling to you, but yeah. The rest of the night goes quiet. Day four. Foraging, stuff like that. <sighs> yeah. Uh, you feel all right? You right, feel mate? a little weird. <laughs> you're thrashing in your sleep. You look, you look a bit pale. Yeah. It, <laughs> He's a bit picky. It was a little weird of a night. I can't even. F- don't you know? Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because when we start doing Irish, you start doing Irish. <laughs> and when Jeff starts pissing him off, he's like, f- it, I can't do That's it. That's true, too. Can concentrate. <laughs> <clears throat> I can only do Canadian when I'm happy. Yeah, my next. <laughs> I'm going to name my next character Lewis Black, and it's just going to be an angry Jew. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. You can at least cast Lewis Black. Yeah. Yeah, there absolutely. Forage check. I got a 23. Oh, um, I wanted to spend my uh, long yeah. rest. Nat 20. One of the spin my long rest making an say. antitoxin. Excellent. Nat 20. Nat 20. It's like my fourth nat 20. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Your your thing costs... You said it was five charges to make a thing. It 
your ability says that it costs 25 gold to make, right? No, it was like half the... Th- I put the thing away. Get it back out. Yeah. It was half the cost of the item itself, I think, is what it said. Okay, how much does Anacroxen cost? I didn't look. <laughs> Game of rules, Lucas. <laughs> your rules. I disagree with them all. Okay, so we're supposed to look things up and do your math for you? Two yes. D6s. It's 2d6 plus Okay, so antitoxin yes. would cost 50 because, or would cost 25 because it's 50 in the book. Okay, so five charges. Five charges. I'm okay, now how do I know, I guess I wouldn't know, whether or not it was made well because I have three, I have three charges that aren't good. So am I... Roll me a d4. Okay. What's the forage DC? I got a four. Fifteen. It's good. Okay. So I still have three bad charges. I don't think you know. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. I'm sure that potion is fine. You said it was. That's because you don't think you have bad... Um, <laughs> Never should have told you in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> I probably don't have that poison anymore. I think I got that out of the spider's den. Foraging is uh, 15. We got a ton because I crit on it. Oh, cool. Yeah, so you got, and I gave you a card, eating, right? We did, still yeah. 26 rations. Nice! After eating for the fourth day. And we're doing 13? 13 mm-hmm. a day. So Are theoretically, you, even oh, if I didn't roll. kind of f*** up the next couple days, I didn't we should roll be able to inch. make it to... We have two days left now. Yeah, we have two happen. days reservoir. So it's an unnatural 20 to find more charges. Okay. So You'll max you? out at 12. Four more. Snooping. After my horrible dream, then also you should know that at the end of my long rest here, I am putting the plus one on my armor. Okay. After my horrible dream of being eaten. Good awesome. Uh, that to do it. Somebody roll me a d20 to see if uh, Shushar knows where he's going. Not 20. He knows <laughs> right where he's going. Is that a thing? Luck huh? Is that a card for that or no? Does Shushar oh. get it for his... Sure. Skill? Sure. I didn't know since it was, sure. wasn't technically for Troy's character. How you Where's were dictating that. How much farther do you think it'll be? Well, we're four days out, so I'm assuming another three or four days. Well, let's have everybody keep uh, your eyes out for some yummy mushrooms, all right? Uh, somebody roll me a d20. Twelve. Pretty sure I rolled twelve before. Mm-hmm. It was bugs, and wasn't roll it? it again. No. Oh, no. Oh. No, you hadn't rolled 12. Okay, I thought I had. I thought 12 was the fire beetles. No. 12 is... Beholder. <laughs> no. <laughs> it wasn't a beholder. As you're traveling, you find this sign on the wall. Hmm. No. No. That seems important. Matt, you should roll that. Can Gee, I write... You know can, that... I, can I sketch that? Yeah. 13. Can you show... Okay. Roll what? Why roll? What'd you get, man? I'm sorry. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, you don't know it. Roll for what? I mean, I, I, okay. I know it is. <laughs> I understand that. What is he rolling for? I was gonna have him roll religion. Probably. I can roll religion. Yeah, so I rolled a religion at thirteen. <laughs> what languages do you speak? Common, Elvish, Undercommon, Abyssal, Infernal. God, you're a cheerful bitch, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can speak in Abyssal. <laughs> uh, I don't know how the languages work. You talk and understand people. Written no, languages. Written languages are oh. different. So if that's a particular language, it may be written in similar symbols to Abyssal. True. Or like, what is it? It Dwarven? would be similar sy- symbols to Elven. Sereth knows exactly what it is, and he'll say, we need to be careful. Um, this is a warning sign. Warning for what? Uh, demons. We already saw those, didn't we? Well, this is saying there's more around here. Is it saying that, or is it saying, is it a warning for the demons? Like, yes, hey, I'm demons, sure that's what home, it is. Go home, eh? <laughs> Don't come here, demons. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it is. I, yes. Okay, demons not welcome here. I ask Sareth, uh, what language is it in? It's Drow. Are we close by any more Drow villages? Anything like that? No, not around here. Velkenvel was the only one in the area. How far? We just How left far it. what? Oh, that's where we left from? Yes. Okay, I'm not sure that I was ever told where we were. Yes. I don't remember, honestly. You were all told, welcome to Velkenveld. All right, I slept through that. Go ahead. I okay. Velkenveld prison. Okay, you guys You guys are about halfway through your day. You're still traveling medium pace? Yes. Yeah. Yes? We found a ton of food today, so we feel pretty good about that. Okay. Especially with the fact that there are demons around here. Um, 
You didn't say they're. F- I am demons. not Just sleeping real well. Is there something in the herbalism kit that'll help me? You think? It'll help you sleep better. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling a little shaky. Got the gym. Make a either nature or survival roll. Proficient with it. Uh, proficiently fourteen. Fourteen. Yes, you have something that will help you sleep better. Yay. Take a couple of those mushrooms. <clears throat> well, I was looking at the mushroom list. And I didn't have anything that said specifically medicinal in my knowledge of shroomage. Matt's a dwarf eats one and just hears. <laughs> in the garden of a year. You just like there. fall backwards in slow motion. Like crashing into the rocks with the cam in the background on the camera view, it's like pillows <laughs> or like rose petals from American Beauty. <clears throat> okay, so finishing out the day's travel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you get to make a survival check to see if you can find someplace safe to rest. Eighteen. Cool. You're good. This has happened once before. <laughs> yeah, I've rolled well each time. We've had a great place to stay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way to I really keep like the... that. I really like the uh, Umber Hulk cave. Mm, that was nice. It was cozy. Had a chimney. Warm. Was able to make an antitoxin. So we found another place that you can describe as a safe place. Yes, you find some place to rest. So, Everything so like right. that. Perhaps behind a waterfall or something so nice. Irish. Nothing that nice. I died. Eighteen. It's at least Motel Six quality. Troy, roll me a d twenty. It's an 18. Lots of 18s tonight. High numbers are battles? Probably. It just depends. They write each book a little differently. Are there dream battles? There might be dream battles. <laughs> Out of the Abyss is actually a, a new Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, I was, I was uh, just like, edition. the the big bad at the end is <laughs> Freddy Krueger. Nah, he's way more scary than Freddy Krueger. Well, sometimes. Because uh, he can break the fourth wall, you know, so like... During the battle, he's saying things like, You f***ing nerds in your stupid game! Alright, the night has gone peacefully. The whole evening. Um, Except when Matt's watch. No, it's on Troy's. Oh, okay, great. You are sleeping soundly. There is a brilliant flash in this cave that you have found to sleep in. And in amongst the, the group of you, there's a mind flare standing. And a voice says, <laughs> and Cody gets up and rolls away from the table. Where are my f-ing keys? Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> I live here. I'm going to go get booze. He's going to come out with a f-ing bottle of whiskey and a glass. <laughs> Immediate reaction. I think Cody already did it. <laughs> I see a mind flare in bright light. The light goes away. You're kind of stunned for a second. When you are able to see again, there's a mind flare staying, standing in the middle of you. In the middle of our group? Yes. Oh. Well, I uh, will probably try to attack it. That's probably a bad move, but go ahead. Okay, you're asleep. Mm-hmm. I'll give you one free one. 24? It's an illusion, and you actually slice Matt's dick off. No, it changes the mind flare's not actually standing there. That's what I, I sleep said. with my cod piece on. But he hits something. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that'll hit. Does it? What are you attacking with? I'm using... I'm popping my claws. Okay. Ring style. For four. No, four he damage? D10, so, or D100, so it's actually 40. Do I add anything to that? Do I add my discipline attack? I have no attack? idea. I don't think so. No. So just, are you proficient just with it? I mean, is it a melee attack? Yeah. Then you would add, add strength. strength. Oh. Oh, then you know, it's a whopping five. <laughs> Make an intelligence save. I have some of that. Nat 20 for 26. <laughs> You're just collecting cards over there, man. You're going to need it. <laughs> yeah, probably. That one's got a lot of writing, too. You surprise the shit out of it. <laughs> and it tries to mind blast you. Mm-hmm. You, with all these mental disciplines and whatnot that you have, you fight it off. And it says, hold friend. But it doesn't. The face doesn't move except for the tentacles wiggling. So it says hold friend like Zoidberg? Kind of, yes. Like, hold friend. Well, no, because it's in its mind. It's not. Yeah, they don't talk. I will sort of like take a step back, like take a defensive posture, I guess. He's just waiting for the Mortal Kombat. Fart! It's mind flare the white. 
Gandalf. So you're backing yeah. off and yeah, he will do much as you do and heal himself. Okay. Uh, he's rubbing uh, his same way. Uh, yes, he's he does this. rubbing his tummy and patting his head. <laughs> He's is. he's using the tentacles and t- and patting his head. Um, I'm I'm sorry. I I I honestly did not mean to surprise you. It's totally my fault. This was a complete accident. And we'll start trying to extricate him from the rest of the group because it it's been completely silent unless you like yelled out or anything like that. Who are you then? I'm Graslax. Who are you? I am Elenil. You have some ability. The mind. It's a pleasure to meet you. I nod. What What are you doing down here? Well, you need uh, a key phrase. We were captured, and we tried to escape. Well, you seem like you've escaped. Where are you going? To Flugenhagen. We're going to Flugenheim. I like Flugenheim a lot better. We're going to Flugtog, you know that thing where they jump off into the water? No, we're going to that museum in New York, the Flugenheim. It's a museum about jumping off of things for Red Bull. It's awesome. <laughs> and he, you see him kind of consider, and he's, okay, I'm confused now. Where where exactly were you captured from? Where are we now? We were captured in Velconville, somewhere between there and halfway between there and there. Okay. And you see him kind of mentally calculating distances and everything like that. Where are you from? I'm from the Society, the, the Society of Brilliance. And I'm. Can I get some kind of roll and the, know what that is? Or you, I mean, you can try knowledge history. Wrong game. Nineteen? Nope. No idea. No point of reference. Um. Oh well, no! I I would take I will take that back. You you said that your character spent time in the Underdark. Mm-hmm. Uh, with a nineteen, you met, you would have you would have heard rumors of a group of monstrous races who are coming together to try and solve the problems of the Underdark. So he's a member of the evil Council of Nicaea? Is that, like... <laughs> We've met the only thing worse than a Mind Flayer, and that's a friendly Mind Flayer. It must have been the Fair's Rest that threw me off. Did he take a wrong turn at Albuquerque or something? Eh. Uh, make me another knowledge history, I guess? You would... Well, one's probably not going to work. I like. I books. get my cards. <laughs> <laughs> I can read. I had squid once. <laughs> you look like him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have no idea what the what the fair's rest is. He rolled a one, audience. Yes. So what are you doing here? I was, I was trying to go and check in on one of the hive minds, but apparently the fair's rest threw off my teleportation. Well, where will you go now? I'll keep going. This area doesn't doesn't seem to be as thick with it, so give me a little bit of time and I'll I'll be able to continue on my way. Matter of fact, I'm not going to hold you up. I'm not going to keep you away. I'm I'm gonna I'll, I'll show myself out and starts trying to extricate himself from the group and not step on anybody. And I do apologize for frightening you. What was his name again? So I can have it for my notes. Gretzky. I say it was like Garble Grex or something. It was Grezelax. I hey. think you're right on. Grazelax, yes. I mean if you wanna you you've got you've got a chance if you want to ask him anything else, or he's right. not he's not gonna just walk away. If you wanna if you wanna talk, he'll he'll talk. But Do you have any magical items to help us on our quest? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I don't. Yes. None, the, none that the none that the society would be willing to part with at the moment. Do you have any tips to get from here to Goop de Bop? Sloop a Goop. Be careful when teleporting within the Fair's Rest. I have no idea what that is. So. Oh, really? Uh, it's the Fair's Rest is the magical radiation of the Underdark. Um, you'll come into areas and it will be lit magically. Um, it ha- it it has funky effects on magic. Within the area, it's good to know. If you teleport within the within an area suffused by Fair's Rest, it can throw off your teleport. If I teleport by magic. How else? Do How you do you think uh, Illithids teleport? I don't know. I don't think so. Yep, Illithids are heavily psionic. Want to know anything else? I don't think so. Okay, then I will be on my way. Rest of the night passes quietly. <laughs> Already. 
There, who who else was on Watch Four with you? Um, I believe it was Ront, Bupito, and Eldeth. We no, Eldith wasn't on one. We completely forgot about her. That's what I'm saying. We forgot about it, so we'll just say she's on the last watch. They all kind of sat there just slack-jawed as you lunge and attack a, a Mind Flayer and sit and stare at it and don't say anything. And it stares at you and doesn't say anything. And you both walk away. Nobody mm-hmm. won the staring contest with a standoff. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be really funny since it was you that saw it. That's interesting. You just turn around and go, yeah. I, I won. Our title track, Elders, is brought to you by Sleep for the Weary off their debut album, Nocturnes. Learn more about Sleep for the Weary at sleepfortheweary.com or by following the link on our homepage at rancorsbrothel.com. Enjoy the cards used during the podcast? Check out those and many other excellent Nord Games products at nordgamesllc.com. Tell them the Rancor's Brothel sent you. Want to support the podcast? Donate to the cause at patreon.com slash rancors underscore brothel. Patrons receive exclusive content, the opportunity to play games with us, the chance to win unique prizes, and more. And don't forget to join in the conversation on Facebook by following the Rancor's Brothel and joining the group, fans of the Rancor's Brothel. Follow us on Twitter at at rancors underscore brothel and email your comments and suggestions to between two crits at gmail.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Most of all, keep circulating the tapes. Much love, listeners. You live through pain.